Hi everyone. Today we're going to go through my trash. I've been collecting quite a bit of stuff for the last couple months. Now I'm just going to dive right in. I've got hair care, skin care, and makeup. This is Bioderma. I buy it online. This is for sensitive skin. And what I do is I wear mascara every single day. This is my very favorite eye makeup remover. That's all I use it for, just my eye makeup. A lot of people use it for their face makeup as well, but I just use it for my eyes. I've used, I've tried Lancome, um, all the drugstore ones, Neutrogena, and that still is my very favorite. So I will be repurchasing that. I also got the, um, went through the Alba Botanica Hawaiian Body Cream and Papaya Mango. Love this, smells great, works great. I'm not going to be repurchasing some of the body butters. I have one or two backups already for the summertime. And then um, for hair care, I went through a Macadamia Professional Weightless Moisture Leave-In Conditioning Mist. This I went through in the winter time when my hair was extra dry. Even though I'd conditioned in the shower, I would spray this through my ends because they were that dry. Worked great. I'm not repurchasing because I am going through some different conditioners and they're working really well for me. So I also used up the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. This was nice, but it's not my favorite cleansing balm. That's um, something that I'm not going to repurchase. And went through the Drunk Elephant B Hydra Intensive Hydration Gel. This is the little mini. Came with a little mini um, vitamin C serum. Took this on a trip, thought this just doesn't work for me. It's not enough moisture, I'm not going to repurchase. But since have found out it is a water-based moisturizer and it is great for the dehydration that I experience on my face and my skin. So I did repurchase or did purchase a full size of that and I'm going through that. So in the winter time for my PM moisturizer, I use the It Confidence in a Cream. Smells nice, feels nice, super um, cushiony sort of and moisturizing. But my very favorite um, moisturizer for AM and PM now is the Belief Moisture Balm, which I have in here. I have an empty in there. Went through a Trader Joe's Coconut Body Butter. Love those. Great price. They're nice. Smell good. Finished the Moroccan uh, Oil Moisture Repair Conditioner and Shampoo. I must have thrown the shampoo into the regular trash. These smell so good. They work pretty well. Um, I, had, I went through that before I got the um, filter for my shower, so they probably would have worked even better. I'm not repurchasing those at this time. Used up a Moroccan Oil Root Boost spray. This is one of the better root boosts that I've ever tried, and it smells great. I have repurchased this, even though it's pricey. I don't use a lot of product in my hair. I don't use this every day. Probably I don't even use it every week, but I do like it, so I have repurchased another one. Went through a Drunk Elephant C Firma Day Serum. This is my favorite vitamin C. It's so um, easy to use. It does not go bad, and I've seen results. I love this. So um, I will be repurchasing that probably over and over. Then I've, this is my favorite moisturizing cream. It's the Belief Moisturizing Balm. Very favorite. Has a light, very light, almost like a lemon cream, lemon meringue pie <laughs> scent. It's a bonus. Went through a Pixie Double Cleanse. That's the collaboration with Carolyn Hirons, who absolutely adore. She's hysterical. This has the um, solid cleansing oil on one side and the cleansing cream on the other. Worked great, but it is not my favorite cleanser, so I will not be repurchasing that. Here's another shampoo I went through. This is the conditioner, actually. It's the Colorproof Crazy Smooth Anti-Frizz. This is very concentrated. You use only a little bit. Worked very well but I'm on to some other brands right now that I'm trying out. So at some point I might go back and repurchase that. I don't know. Then I finished a Pixie Glow Tonic. I have a backup already. This is 
Um, the second step in my morning cleansing, morning skincare routine, I cleanse and then I go over my whole face with a cotton pad to um, brighten and help keep my skin exfoliated. And this is the shampoo for the color proof. Went through some Tony Moly masks. They're available at Ulta and they're super cheap. And two of them I really liked. One of them I would not repurchase. This is the avocado nutrition one. Loved that one. Worked really well. And then the aloe moisturizing one I would repurchase as well. That one was really nice. The one I would not repurchase is the broccoli vitality. For some reason, my skin had a slight reaction to it. Gave me some red patchiness, so um, won't be getting that one again. Went through a superhero mascara from It Cosmetics. This was my favorite for a little while, but it got very clumpy and then was leaving a lot of fallout. So um, I prefer the L'Oreal Lash Paradise at this point. Also finished up a Clinique Fresh Pressed Daily Booster Vitamin C Serum. These are great, but my very favorite vitamin C is still that Drunk Elephant, so I will not be repurchasing this. Finished up my favorite foundation, which is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream with SPF 50. Love the SPF 50. I love the finish on this. Some people have a problem with how it keeps your skin a little bit dewy. I really like that. For my older skin that's dry, this is perfect for me. This was the light for the winter time. Right now I'm mixing the light and the medium together. And I'll probably go to the medium here pretty soon once I keep self tanning. Finished up um, one of my favorite glosses, the Buxom White Russian. It's beautiful by itself or over any color. I do have a backup of that already. Finished the Super Sizer Mascara from CoverGirl. Love this for volume, but it does get kind of clumpy, so you really sort of have to work with it. I have not repurchased this because of that L'Oreal mascara that I'm in love with right now. Then I finished the Body Shop Chamomile Silky Cleansing Oil. I do have a backup of this. I keep it in the shower. It does not leave a greasy film on my face or anything like that. It's beautiful for cleansing. It keeps my skin very balanced and, balanced and slightly moisturized. So um, I really will keep using that until I find something better. Went, finished a nice um, sample size of the Fresh Vitamin Nectar Mask. This is lovely. During the next VIB sale, I think I will get the larger size. Every time I use this, I could tell a difference in my skin. And that's saying a lot. It smells like um, fresh oranges, has little bits of oranges um, in it, a little bit of pulp in it. Great ingredients, really effective mask. I loved it. This is the Goof Proof Brow Pencil by Benefit. It has a spoolie on one end and then a triangle, triangular sized um, or shaped um, thing on this end. And I'm not sure if I will repurchase it or not. It worked well. I enjoyed it. The only thing is these do not fit on both sides. You have to get the right, the right one for it to work. Small thing, but when you're in a hurry, it makes a difference. I'm using the Anastasia um, Brow Wiz now. And then last, yep, last but not least, this is the Hourglass Eyeliner, the 1.5 millimeter. This was a godsend to me. I use it in my waterline. This I could actually use. It was the first one that I got comfortable with using in my waterline. And I line my waterline, my upper waterline, just about every day now. This is really thin, precise, creamy, goes on smooth. You don't end up poking yourself in the eye. It doesn't transfer usually. You have to give it, you know, a few seconds to kind of dry. But Love this. It, it's expensive, so I'm looking for a dupe, and I'm trying some others, but I may go back and repurchase this because I do love it. Okay, that is it for my empties. I hope that was um, informative and helpful, and I will see you in my next video.